old debate. Hmm. Jesus is white. Hmm. No, Jesus is black. Hmm. No, he's not black. He's not white. He's a Jew. Hmm. For those politically correct ones hmm. who don't want to actually take a stand. Hmm. Those who are on the fence. No, he's not black. He's not white. He's Jew. But Jesus did not really exist. Jesus is a construct, he's an archetype, he's a mental construct that is showing you a symbol of something. You can read the Bible literally and you will become the greatest fool in the world because now you will expect literally a man to walk on water. You will expect literally for the dead to physically resurrect and become alive like Lazarus. Mm -hmm. You will expect that a virgin will give birth to a child mm. without sexual intercourse. Mm. Now, religion has, has like you said, uh, Abba, religion has this quality of making us functional schizophrenics. Yes. yes. We are functional mental cases. Of, of, yes. Who could be complete if we don't decolonize the language, we don't decolonize the culture, we don't decolonize the ideas, practice. the principles, and all of these things. Mm. But if we think we're just going to sugarcoat this thing, we're going to paint Jesus black and give him <laughs> dreadlocks and start to say, Jesu, Nelo Mutomunzu. Listen, fake mm. is fake. Whether it's white or, or black, black mm. it's still fake. Mm. You understand? So uh, this is where our people are, that we are lazy to do what we're supposed to do in the, in the context of decolonization. Yes. It's, 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 it's very profound because now you find that this, this, this misappropriation of concepts or misunderstanding or baboon twin, two different meanings, but you want to relate them 